Primarily, they want to play through him in the post of entry. And it was a blind screen by Garland that picked off Bancaro there yeah. as Suggs unloads a three. He connects. Suggs is having his best shooting season. He bounded by Suggs. I think you can see a little bit of the Cavaliers' model on how to develop a team in this Magic team with Coach Mosley being here as a coach. They, this, they're a younger version of what we have right up here by Mobley. He takes a drifting jumper that's way off and rebounded by Allen. Well, switch between the two Cavalier big men as outranges Mobley. Mobley to the basket. He banks and scores. Tell you what, Evan Mobley is three games. He's playing his first game against the Magic this season. He missed the first three with a variety of injuries as Dean Wade's open. He connects. Excellent ball movement by the Cavaliers. Levert did a great job of breaking down that double team. I want to see him continue to step through and try to shoot that ball. He may have drawn a foul. Carter with another three. That's four for the Magic Club. Playing extremely hard every night, Brad. They're cooking as Sam Merrill fires a three. And this Magic Club is really threatening to get back into the postseason as Max. George Niang and Sam Merrill, who stands right in front of us, have checked in. The Magic have already seen plenty of Sam Merrill this season. He lit him up last time. 26, what did I do, believe? To hit his first shot. Mobley from the elbow. Merrill hit eight triples in that 26-point performance a month ago in Orlando as the Cavs rolled the Magic that night. Mo Wagner inside, he can't hit. That ball careens out of bounds. Paul Anthony has also checked in for the Magic. He's giving Jamal Mosley some solid minutes as Engels with a steal. He'll go all the way. Uh oh, oh I thought he missed it. Oh, man, just didn't miss that one. <laughs> you see the, that, the yeah. Magic bench hopped up. They oh, thought he missed it, too. No <laughs> laughing because he thought he missed it. <laughs> 23-20 is the Orlando lead. We talked about it before, it bears repeating. You do not want to turn the ball over against this opportunistic magic punch as Levert's 15-footer is rebounded by Anthony Black. Angles is one of the lone veterans on this club. Jonathan Isaacs back on the floor as well. He has dealt with some serious long-term injuries during his seven-year career. Angles can shoot the three. Struis doesn't let him do it there until Angles crossed him over and knocks it down. Joe's talking to the crowd. He is a character, man. He, uh, yeah, you're exactly right. This, this basketball team, very young, talking about this Magic team. And so they're going to play a little looser than we are because they they have nothing to lose. So we got to be really careful. Merrill doesn't hesitate. He knocks it down, gets knocked down by Cole Anthony, and Sam Merrill has a... Couldn't work out, but that's a great play. That extra pass by Max Struess is what you want to see in your offensive transition. That makes that defense, which is running backwards, you, you've got them on their heels. They can't shift and get to the, to the defender, get to the offense. So, good try. Anthony appeared to skid his pivot foot, missed the shot. A loose ball is grabbed by Wagner. Now only a three-second difference between shot clock and game clock, and JB is really giving it to Brandon Schwab. He wanted a traveling call. Angles, shovel finds Anthony into the corner and goes good ball movement results in an Anthony Black three. Yeah, excellent ball movement by the Magic. Ends up with a really good shot. The first quarter is over.